Hi language lovers, Big Bong here and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be talking about a browser extension I reviewed about one year ago. It's called Toucan and the reason why I'm making another one is because they've added so many cool features in between. For instance, back then the languages available were Spanish, German, French, Italian and Portuguese. But now, in addition to them, you've got Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, Hebrew and Hindi. Before we continue, let me explain again the concept behind Toucan and how it works. As I mentioned, it's a browser extension compatible with Google Chrome, so you can download it at jointoucan.com. But if you click on the link in the description down below, as one of my followers, you'll get the premium subscription for free during six months. Let's try with Korean. What Toucan does is to scan the page and change some words to the targeted language, so you can see it in real time. So I'm just visiting a website that I like called worldnomads.com, and I'm on this page called Five Things to Know Before Visiting South Korea. And as you can see, some words are automatically changing. 상대적으로, 숙박시설. You can listen to the words with Toucan's audio pronunciation, which I think is very important in any language, but especially Korean, because I find it very tricky to pronounce. 도시. 도시. 아침 식사. 아침 식사. If you want to review them later, you can save them, and they'll appear in your saved words list. In this list, you can decide to challenge yourself by hiding both the translations and or the definitions. So a word will be marked as learned once you see it a hundred times. If you go to your settings by clicking on the little puzzle icon, you can see your daily goal. Mine is set to 500 words per day. Yeah, I'm pretty motivated. You can decide to block uh, the effect of the extension on some websites. For example, I blocked it on governmental websites because I wanted to be fully focused on the information instead of taking it as an opportunity to learn languages. Or you can also pause it and set it for as long as you want. You have access to daily and weekly progress reports so that you can track how far along you are in becoming fluent in the language you want to learn. You have the possibility also to decide the amount of translations you want to get on a page. Less, more, many or a lot if you get the premium account. Then there's the option highlight to translate. So that's basically if you want to translate a word that was not automatically translated by Toucan. So for example the word South Korea, it's 대한민국. If you know a word you can select I know this. And you can also contribute if a translation is not correct by reporting it. I don't know who's behind them, but I really like Toucan's images and general design. But on top of that, what I really enjoy about this browser extension is the fact that it's made to motivate you. In fact, there are also quizzes and mini games you can play, which I personally enjoy just to have a break from work sometimes. So for instance, I'm on a Wikipedia page for the word Toucan, which is, of course, a very famous bird. And let me show you one of the games. Preparing activities. Catch a match. Balloon pop. All right. Balloon pop. Match the word with their translation. So, se, that's bird. Eggs is talgel. Uh, completely. Wanjani. Evolution is chinhua. Also, tohan. And here I have the result. There is another fun feature that's called own your word. So basically, if you really like a particular word, you can own it for a week. Not legally, of course, but you can really become part of the Toucan community and show everyone a word that means something to you. To own a word, you simply need to fill this form and it's yours for a week. So for example, the word dream is taken, the word love is also taken, but I could choose premium. So that's it. Toucan is here to help you learn languages while browsing the web. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. In fact, apparently some researchers show that learning languages that way would be as efficient as using flashcards or other classic techniques. But if you want my opinion, what matters the most is for you to have fun. So go out there, browse the web and learn languages. Another problem with traditional ways of learning is the fact that it's time consuming. Here, you don't have to set aside a few hours to learn every week. Instead, they're incorporated in your daily routine. So it really feels like you're learning without even trying. Once again, I'm pointing out that I'm using the premium subscription. The free version is great, but the premium one will unlock unlimited access to all the features with a price that's about a grande coffee at Starbucks once every month. But I repeat, as one of my followers, you're lucky because you get to have it for free during six months, all the details in the description. So there you have it, a new immersive and original way to learn languages while you go about your daily life. So what are you waiting for? All right then, have fun learning languages and I'll see you soon for more videos. Bye.